Welcome to Puzzles and Solutions. Today I will go through the Mensa Sweden IQ test, which is the final Scandinavian Mensa IQ test for me to go through. The IQ test contains 24 puzzles with a maximum score of 126 or above IQ. The test has a time limit of 10 minutes, which is way smaller compared to the other Scandinavian Mensa IQ tests. For a comparison on how little time this test gives, the Mensa Sweden IQ test gives 25 seconds per puzzle, while the Mensa Denmark IQ test gives 62 seconds per puzzle, so above twice the time per puzzle on the Danish one. Overall, I found the test quite enjoyable. If you want to take the test yourself, the link will be in the description, and if you're just following along, I suggest you pause the video before listening to my solution and try to solve it yourself. Puzzle number one. This is our one column puzzle. So if you look at the columns, we have that every picture in column 1 has a black square on the left side, every picture in column 2 has a black square in the middle, and every picture in column 3 has a black square on the right side. For the rows, we have only black squares on the top for row 1, in the middle for row 2, and on the bottom for row 3. Our answer is in the third column and third row, so the answer will have a black square on the bottom right. The correct solution is E. Puzzle 2. This is what I call a diagonal puzzle, if you look at the diagonal from top right to bottom left, we see that every picture in a diagonal is identical. Also, we see that the diagonals repeat every three diagonals, since the first diagonal marked in green is identical to the fourth diagonal, which is also marked in green. Therefore, we know that the picture in the answer is identical to the pictures in the blue diagonal. C is the correct solution. Puzzle number three. This is an addition puzzle. First, let's look at the rows. So, every third picture in a row can be deduced by taking the first picture in that row and adding it with the second picture. The same holds true for the columns. Every third picture in a column is the first picture added with the second picture. So, basing ourselves on the last row, we see that if we add picture 7 with picture 8, we get a fully black square. The correct answer is C. Also, we could have gone by the last column to add picture 3 with picture 6 to again get a fully black square. Puzzle number 4. Another identical addition puzzle. Again, in the rows, we have that picture 3 is picture 1 added with picture 2. And the same for the columns. Picture 3 in a column is picture 1 added with picture 2. So going by the last row, we add picture 7 with picture 8 to get a square with a rotated square inside of it with a small black square in the middle and then a plus sign. So the correct solution is A. Puzzle 5. So these kinds of puzzles have a very nice symmetry, the same change happens in the rows and the columns. To solve this puzzle, let's first take a look at the amount of lines. In the rows, we always add one line when we go from a previous picture to the next picture. We can write this as plus 0 for the first picture, plus 1 for the second picture, and plus 2 for the third picture. The exact same thing happens in the columns, so plus 0, plus 1, and plus 2. So taking the amount of lines in picture 6 or picture 8, and then adding one line, gives the amount of lines in the answer, so 4 plus 1 equals 5. Our answer will have 5 lines. This leaves C or D as the correct answer. Also notice that moving to the right in a row or moving down in a column always leads to a 45 degree rotation clockwise. So again, we can take picture 6 or picture 8 and rotate it 45 degrees clockwise to get the orientation of our answer. D is the correct solution. Puzzle 6. This is a diagonal puzzle, but this time the diagonal of repeating pictures is from the top left to the bottom right. Every picture in the main diagonal, which is the red diagonal, is identical. Therefore, our answer is E. E is the correct solution. Puzzle 7. This is a column puzzle, so looking at the columns, we have that in column 1, the black area is in the top, in the second column, the black area is on the right, and in the third column, the black area is on the left. And of course, every picture in a column is identical, so B is the correct solution. Puzzle number 8. Again, let's use the same logic as puzzle 5. If you look at the rows, the amount of dots is always increasing by 1 if you move to the right, and in the columns, the amount of dots always increase by 1 if you move downwards. So since there are 4 dots in picture 6 and picture 8, we know that the answer will have 5 dots. Therefore, every corner of the pentagon will have a black dot. C is the correct solution. Puzzle 9. This is an addition puzzle, but here we have that in the rows, the first picture is the second picture added with the third picture. Also in the columns, the first picture is the second picture added with the third picture. So going by the last row, we can take picture 7 and remove the square which is in picture 8, resulting as D as the correct solution. Also, we could have gone by the last column and take picture 3 and remove the circle which is in picture 6 and again get D as the correct solution. Puzzle number 10. 
This is a diagonal puzzle on both diagonals. First, let's look at the top left to bottom right diagonal, and we see that the pattern inside the shapes repeat. On our main red diagonal, we have the line pattern repeating, leaving B, C or E as the correct solution. Looking at the top right to bottom left diagonal, we see that the shapes themselves repeat. The repeating shape on the blue diagonals are the circles. Therefore, our answer is a circle with a line pattern inside of it. B is the correct solution. Puzzle 11. This is a round column puzzle. Let's start by looking at the columns. In the first picture, there is colored tiles in all the columns. In the second column, there are only colored tiles in the left and middle column. And in the third column, there are only colored tiles in the left column. If you look at the rows, in the first row, there are only colored tiles in the top row. In the second row, there are only colored tiles in the top row and middle row. And in the third row, there are colored tiles in every row. So by combining the patterns in the rows and the columns, we see that there are only colored tiles where the patterns allow it. So in the lines I drew, you can see that there are only colored tiles in the intersection of these lines. So our solution is in the third column and third row. In the third column, we have only colored tiles in the left column. And in the third row, we have colored tiles in all rows, meaning that the solution will be three colored tiles in the left column. B is the correct solution. Puzzle number 12. This is a diagonal puzzle. First, if you look at the pattern inside of the shapes, it repeats every three diagonals, leading to our answer having a line pattern. This leaves B or C as the correct solution. Note that the way the shapes are pointing does not repeat every three diagonals. So moving down a column or to the right in a row always leads to a 90 degree rotation clockwise. Basing ourselves on picture 6 or picture 8, we can rotate them 90 degrees to get the orientation of our answer. B is the correct solution. Puzzle 13. Another diagonal puzzle on both diagonals. First, if you look at the top right to bottom left diagonal, we have a repetition of the shapes themselves, leading to our answer being an X. Looking at the top left to bottom right diagonal, we see that the pattern the shapes are made out of repeats. On the main red diagonal, there is a repetition of the small lines which build up the shape. So our answer is an X shape built up of small lines. A is the correct solution. Puzzle 14. This is a diagonal puzzle which is very similar to puzzle 12. First, let's look at the top left to bottom right diagonal and we see that there is a repetition of the object which is attached to the end of the line. In the main red diagonal, there is a repetition of the pictures with a black circle attached to the end of the line, leading to C, D or E as the correct answer. Now if you look at the row, we see that moving from left to right in a row always adds one of these small lines and rotates the object by 90 degrees. Also moving down in a column also rotates by 90 degrees and adds a small line. So basing ourselves on picture 6 or picture 8 and rotating them 90 degrees clockwise and then adding one of these small lines leads to how the picture looks without the black circle attached to it. E is the correct solution. Puzzle number 15. This is a round column puzzle. The first thing to notice is that the lines under the semicircle is always connected to one of five places on top and one of five places on bottom. The dots I've drawn in represents these positions which the lines can be in between. To solve the puzzle, let's look at the rows and notice that there is a pattern which the leftmost line in the first picture always follows. And when going from a previous picture to a next picture in a row, these lines always jump one dot to the right. So if we take the blue line in picture 8 and move it one to the right, we get one of the lines in our answer. The next thing to notice is that the rightmost lines, which are drawn in red hair, they always do the exact opposite of the blue line and jump one position to the left as we move to the right. So if we take the red line in picture 8 and move it once to the left, we get another line in our answer. So if you look at this shape, which our answer has, only D has this shape, so D is the correct solution. Puzzle 16. Another addition puzzle. For the rows, the last picture is always the first picture added with the second picture. And for the columns, the last picture is always the first picture added with the second picture. This becomes quite obvious if you look only at the black dots. In the first row, we have one black dot in the first picture and two black dots in the second picture. And this adding of black dots works for every column and every row. The same holds true for squares. For the last row, we have 2 plus 2 black dots, so 4 black dots, and 3 plus 1 squares, so 4 squares. A is the correct solution. Puzzle number 17. This is another puzzle where moving to the right in a row or moving down on a column has the same effect. This effect is that it always removes one triangle from our answer. So basing ourselves on picture 6 or picture 8, we see that they only have one of these triangles left, 
So if you remove it, we get the correct solution. So A is the correct solution. Puzzle number 18. This is a diagonal puzzle on both diagonals. First, if you look at the top left to bottom right diagonal, we see that there is a repetition of where the circle is attached onto the shape. For the main red diagonal, the circle is always attached to the top. This leaves A, C or E as the correct solution. If you look at the top right to bottom left diagonal, there is a repetition of where the thick black line is. For the blue diagonal, which corresponds to our answer, we see that the thick black line repeats on the top. So our answer has a thick black line on the top with a circle attached to it. A is the correct solution. Puzzle number 19. This is a diagonal puzzle. First, let's look at the top left to bottom right diagonal. On the diagonals which I've drawn as red, there are only pictures which are white with black arrows, and in the blue diagonals there are only black pictures with white arrows. The answer is in the main red diagonal, so it will be white with a black arrow, meaning that B or E is the correct answer. Again, there is a 90 degree clockwise rotation when you move to the right in a row or downwards in a column. So basing ourselves on picture 6 or picture 8 and rotating it 90 degree clockwise, we get the orientation of our answer. So the answer is an arrow pointing upwards. B is the correct solution. Puzzle 20. This is a simple addition puzzle of the black areas. On the rows, the last picture is the first picture added with the second picture. And on the columns, the third picture is the first picture added with the second picture. So basing ourselves on the last row or column, we see that adding the black areas together gives us E as the correct solution. Puzzle 21. This is a diagonal puzzle on both diagonals. First, let's look at the top right towards the bottom left diagonal, and we see that how many objects stick out of the top of the picture repeats. On the blue diagonal, which our answer is in, there is a repetition of one object sticking out of the top. This leaves B or D as the correct solution. If we look at the top left to bottom right diagonal, we see a repetition of what object sticks out of the top and what shape is inside of the rectangle. The pattern inside the rectangle on the red diagonal is a line from the top right corner to the bottom left corner. This matches our answer D. D is the correct solution. Puzzle 22. This is an addition puzzle with cancellation. So it's regular addition where the last picture is the first picture added with the second picture, both in the columns and the rows. But what picture 1 and picture 2 has in common is removed from picture 3. For example, if you look at the first row, we have picture 1, we place picture 2 on top of it. Here we can see that the red is what picture 1 and picture 2 has in common, and if we remove this, we get picture 3. Now to solve the puzzle, just do the same process for the last row. We have picture 7, we add picture 8, we have this overlaps which is marked in red, and we remove the red to get our answer. E is the correct solution. Keep in mind that this is true for the columns as well, and you can do the same to get the same answer. Puzzle 23. First, let's see what the pictures have in common. If you look at the first row, we have a black center, in the second row we have a white center, and in the third row we have a checkerboard pattern. Therefore, we know our answer will have a checkerboard pattern in the center area. E or D is correct. Let's remove everything but the center, and we see that in each row, the picture in the third column is always different from the picture in the second and the first column. Our answer A has the same center as picture 7 and picture 8, therefore we know that A cannot be the correct solution. So, D is the correct solution. Puzzle 24. This is just a normal addition puzzle with cancellation. Again, the third picture in the row or column is just the first picture added with the second picture. For an example on how the cancellation works, let's look at the first row. We take picture 1, we add picture 2 on top of it, they have the red area in common, the area they have in common is removed to get the third picture. Let's do the same for the last row to get our solution. We take picture 7, we add picture 8 on top of it, they have this red area in common, we remove the red area to get our answer. C is the correct solution. Also we could have done this on the columns as well to get the same solution. So that was the entire puzzle. I took the test with all the answers I gave in this video, and this was the result. This is the maximum score of 126 or above IQ. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in the next puzzle.